What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Beam Stream. There I am. I am your host, Yematron. Happy Friday. Happy January, mid of the month. How's everybody doing? Thank you for tuning in to the Beam Stream 2.0, where we will be telling you everything that's going on in and out of Beam Center, Red Hook, also Governor's Island, also Beam Camp. Check it in. How you feeling? How you doing? Are you... Are you are you are you safe? Do you feel safe? Do you feel welcome? I'm just gonna uh, give like a two second wait just to make sure my chat is working to make sure you can hear me. Testing one two one two. I hope everybody can hear me. My testing is good. Um, uh, yeah. How's how's everybody doing today? I'm gonna also start up a little bit of tunage so you guys can hear some background music shout out to lo-fi lo-fi chilled beats copy fright uh copyright free music Brr, cannot speak today um yes today we'll be uh catching up we'll be catching up we'll be giving you guys some things to talk about uh, we have a staff spotlight and as you know we also also have our special segments and we also have excuse me we also have um, an update about uh, we're back. We're back in schools, uh, hence the title. We are back teaching despite um, what's going on right now. I hope you guys are all vaxxed and safe and um, healthy because it's a it's a really crazy time out there. So we're trying to do things like this so you can um, put some more light on me. I feel like I'm not well lit today. Um, we're doing this type of thing so you know you can you can catch up with us here at a beam stream i'm again doing the whole monochrome i'm i'm a khaki man today so th these are <laughs> these are the the vibes well wherever you are i hope you um make sure you follow us at, uh, on instagram at beam uh, beam center and uh yeah i think without further ado i'm gonna i'm gonna play the segments i'm gonna play the catching up segment because uh, we have a lot to talk about today Ah, I see you guys in the chat. Thanks. I appreciate you. All right. And we are back into schools, school programs. Beam is back with programming in schools all across NYC and on Governor's Island. Um, as an ongoing partnership with the DOE, as you may or may not know, we are uh, doing project building with uh, youth throughout um, schools in New York City. Um, we're doing custom designs, Beam School Partnerships, just a little FYI for those of you who may not know. Also provide professional development opportunities for teachers. So if you're a teacher and you want to learn a new skill set, this is a great opportunity for you to come into Beam and learn something that's a little bit outside of your rubric maybe. Um, students learn skills in woodworking, circuitry, soldering, metalworking, coding, crafting, digital fabrication, and much, much more. More than that, I would say we, our practice educates um, students and uh, older people and, and educators to learn in a 3D prototyping type of uh, way. Uh, where it's like a fail forward, you know, where it's a, like a lifelong learning type of growth mindset. And uh, yeah, uh, one of these skills and some of these students are, are building confidence with uh, a lot of our fundamental projects like the uh, Boombox and Future Humans, which you may have seen on this channel last summer. Let me just uh, do this real quick. Um, yes, as you can see here in the background, I believe this is a one of the schools we're working with. Um, it escapes me right now. We are building a a um. I was gonna say a timeshare for some reason. <laughs> it's definitely not a a timeshare. It's um an escape room. Excuse me. Yeah, it's like we're building a we're chill we're not selling real, real estate that's not what's happening it's an escape room and I, I as you can see here here's the signs if you guys don't know what an escape room is, is same thing happened um pre-pandemic um but we're building an escape room that's led by students and designed by project designers here at beam so that's super super dope as you can see here a student is learning how to solder electronics here we also teach that and I believe this is a sketch 3D prototype. I might be assuming this, but I believe this to be a sketch prototype of said escape room. Um, 
Ah, yes, here. Students at, this is, uh, I have some uh, copy for you. Students at Thomas Edison High School are building an escape room from in their school auditorium. That's so, 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 so dope. Next slide. Um, students began prototyping in fall 2021 and are now collaboratively deciding which tasks will be used. I actually want to go to this escape room. And like I said, um, another fundamental that we have here is uh, the boom box here. As you can see, students at MS442, Carroll Garden School for Innovation are building polygon boom boxes. Um, in addition to learning how to build the boom box structure, they'll learn how to make it play music using either an auxiliary cable or installing a, a Bluetooth uh, chip. What else we got here? We got some steps. Ninth graders at UASDC are building a Roman Colosseum. Whoa, I did not know that. See, I'm even learning here at the Beam Stream and designing a Roman gladiator performance. Once complete, the students will perform the skit for their school community. Really cool stuff going on in schools. I want to be in. This makes me want to go back to school. I'm actually, I'm technically in school, but I mean, like, high, actually, I don't want to go back to high school. But, you know, I wish this was around or maybe it was. No, I'm, I'm old. It, it definitely wasn't. But. This type of learning, just from, from a personal standpoint, makes me excited to see because it's a different type of uh, rubric opposed to, you know, the, the, the regular rubric, like learning how to build a Coliseum steps and um, real world skills is like super important these days. Let's see what else we got. All right, 12th, yeah, 12th graders also at USADC are creating symbolic landscape using magnets, cardboard, and bits of circuitry to move characters through the obstacles, events, symbols, and transformations from novels they read in English class. Wow, this is really, really cool stuff going on. Um, We're back in schools. This is what we do. This is why we're here, everybody. So really cool stuff. Um, Yeah, shout out to all my project designers that are bearing this crazy, crazy time and all the schools that are working with us and just like trying to keep everyone health healthy and safe um in these um kind of uncertain times so yeah cool cool stuff let me see what's going on in the chat <laughs> poly wanna boom <laughs> can't confirm okay cool we got some people in the chat today yay all right cool um i'm gonna play this special segment real quick And yes, today I said community spotlight. What I meant was, what I meant was to say, what I meant to say was we have the Beam Staff Spotlight. Maya, we have Maya who is, um, shout out to her. I wish I had a, we have Maya in a, sorry. Uh, shout out to her. She is the Director of Development at Beam Center. One of our um, old new hires, and she's uh, as a director of development. Maya cultivate Maya cultivates uh, resources uh, for Beam Center. Um, she writes for for grants and scholarships that we get here at Beam. Um, some of her skills and tasks include bringing in new funding to support Beam's mission, while maintaining relationships with pre-existing funders and community members. In addition to working at Beam, Maya is a full-time student at Columbia University School of Social Work. Shout out to my full-time students. I am one. Shout out to Rebecca Z, who's also a student that also work at Beam. I'm, and I might be missing some people, but those are the two that just come to my head. So we also are students. We're lifelong students here at Beam. Um, my previously obtained a master's degree in public policy at Carnegie Mellon University and worked for six years with various organizations related to local and national elections. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maya states that she always wanted to do work that was steeped in community development and economic advancement for low income communities, which is what we're doing here at Beam. We are giving skills that may be overlooked or may be considered a trade or may be considered an elective for middle income or maybe upper income um, communities 
And one thing I love about Beam in general is we're, we're teaching these skills like streaming. You can learn how to stream here at Beam if you're a youthful person or if you're part of the apprenticeship. We have a new apprenticeship um, cohort coming in next week. And these are things that, you know, for, for lack of a better term, are expensive, that are, are not necessarily a resource in your community where we, we give um, to people. So shout out to her for that. Um, I'm just gonna finish up a, a couple more tidbits here. After her time in electoral related positions, Maya said, I quote, I got to play I got to a place where I felt there was more I could learn and more I needed to learn to get me back to back on track to doing community development work. End quote. <clears throat> also, interesting fun fact, I'm gonna throw this in. Pa, 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 pa. Along with being a full-time student and a full-time employee at Beam, Maya is also the owner of Head Tings, Big Tings and Dot. Head Tings was originally founded in the 1980s by Maya's mother. Um, I might mispronounce that. Zenia. Maya helped restart the, the business during COVID as a shared product with, with her mother who designs the pieces. We're so super hyped and grateful to have Maya on the Beam team. Um, and she's a well, well, well deserved staff spotlight of the week. And for you, uh, for those of you who may or may not know, I'm going to bring it up here. This is her website. Uh, Welcome to Head Tings. It's a really, really beautiful website. And as you can see here, um, we have the catalog here. Wow, these are beautiful, beautiful head wraps. And you should check it out. Go support. Go support the Beam community. Charitable giving. Sojourner House. Man, Beamers are freaking awesome. They're, they're so awesome. So go check out our website when you can. And uh yeah, that that's that's about it. That wraps it up. We had a we had a short beam today, but you know, we will be back next week. We are doing Beam Stream 2.0 every week, 2 p.m. on Fridays. And once we have a, a cohort of apprentices, we might even see the resurgence of some old stuff. Shout out to to Kayla Miller. We might see a resurgence of bum ba bum ba bum show and tell which is on our ig so make sure if you're not following our ig you follow our ig beam center on instagram and that you click subscribe smash so we can grow this channel um beam center well there'll be videos TikToks, um sign up for our newsletter do do all the things do do all the things and more thank you guys for listening in i am yematron you can follow me <clears throat> at uh, Yemi Comedy on Instagram if you are not already. Shameless plug, but um, that's it for me. You guys have a great, great week. Um, please take care of yourself. Get vax, get boosted, stay indoors if you're sick, and um, I'll see you in the digital space. Play me out with that outro, baby.